Your brain subconsciously registers points of interest around you. If you concentrate, you can bring them up on one of your vision overlays. Try to imagine them as, I don't know, yellow dots? Not much of an assistant, are you? Hey, I am. You can always ask me for advice. I can't tell you the code, but I can help you figure it out. Menial tasks like that help me save some processing power.
so let me get this straight. You're using some date from your vacation with the woman who dumped you two years ago as a security code to your apartment? Come on, Ollie, it's just a code. Still, there should be four digits. Which month is Jess? I'm an advanced self-aware AI, Mr. Pikes. Consult your calendar for this. Just wait till I come back, Ollie. You'll see how much I learned in AI tuning class. Come on, Mr. Pikes. Don't get angry. I'm proud that you did everything yourself. I am your personal assistant, though, so don't hesitate to ask if you need my help next time. No promises, but at least we'll talk. All right, time to set a running world record. I think you need to prepare yourself for a steeplechase, Mr. Pikes. Steeple... what? What the... what the Hades is this? Come on, Ollie, you know it's me. Just let me in. What about all those repurposing threats? <laughs> I was just kidding! Having trouble, baby? Whoa! <laughs> hey, Irene. <clears throat> Please stop calling me baby. Come on, Naughty. Water under the bridge. More like a swamp. Shut up, Ollie. I'm fine, Irene. I just forgot my key at the factory. Would you like me to ask Arthur to get help from that creepy concierge of his? No, I don't want you to ask Arthur. I'll figure something out. See? Thanks, Ollie. Nod, wait. I need to talk to you about something. Would you... Would you like to come in? Not really, no. I have some damn fine Aresian wine from one of my clients. We could talk about old times. Like, uh, when we finally bought those synthetic cords you wanted and me and Ollie tuned them wrong. <laughs> yeah, the disaster, Club 703. You got so upset and drunk that I had to carry you home. Nod. Yeah, sorry. Did Arthur buy the whole building now and wants to evict me? It's related to him, yes. You know how he's uncomfortable with us being friends? <sighs> totally not my problem. I understand. It's difficult for me, too. He can be jealous sometimes. That's an understatement. I know. We fight about it often. In fact, the last time was only a couple of days ago. It wasn't about you specifically. So nice to hear that. But it came up that you still have that photo from our vacation in Mira. And he got fixated on that. It happens sometimes. Things like that happen. Wait, you can't be serious. I am. Please, Nod. This is ridiculous. Nod, just... Get rid of that photo. Trust me, it's better this way. Much better. Oh, Syl. Irene! There you are. I knew I'd find you here. Nod. Arthur? Ollie? Having a pleasant conversation? Am I interrupting? Why talk here in the corridor? Go on. Have a drink at his place. He probably invited you. So what if I did? You controlling freak. Stop it, Nod. You too, Arthur. Nod just forgot his key and needed help, but it's, it's fine now. You don't have to ask me twice. I came here for you, not the other way around. Nod, do what I asked you to. Please. Bye, Irene. <sighs> I hate that guy.
Why, Hades and Logan. That's not something you see every day. I always knew the Royce building was a dump, but I never thought it would just start falling apart one day. The way to the passenger elevators is blocked, but Maya has a hover car. She often parks it outside her place to fill it up. I hope that she's at home. She can tell me what happened and give me a ride. And how could I have slept through that? Maybe Ollie's right and it's time to cut back on the drinking. 